Hello everybody, this is Abraham. I have uh, another project that I'd like to share. Uh, this is a Toyota Previa that I own and uh, it's got 314,000 miles on it. And of course, when you have that many miles, things will break. And what happened is uh, this cover for the steering wheel uh, broke off. Uh, broke off because it, this car lived in California, so plastic is brittle. Uh, so all these things, I originally I owned the car for a while. I originally tried to glue it back together, but that's no use. So it all was wobbling, and uh, it wasn't fun uh, to drive. So what I thought, I sat and thought on how to fix this stuff, and I came up with this. Um, just longer screws and it was supposed to be the screws were inside the hole so what I'm gonna do is just use the whole body to keep the um, thing from wobbling and the top portion I just see they used to be in these holes and uh, what I did was I went from the top went from the top let's see all the way through I just drilled for the big screws got those big long screws and inside the holes I put in um, some rubber cones uh, I got all this stuff at Ace Hardware the whole thing cost me like three bucks so instead of replacing a plastic on a car that's 20 years old you know you want to save a few bucks here's what you do and let's see how it's gonna fare just put the camera up. Okay. It looks looks all right. Let's see if it's gonna actually work. I haven't tried this yet. Just have to make sure you get into the right holes. like one is in. Let's find another one. It's a little more difficult to do it on this long stretch, but it's doable. It's doable. Alright, the last one. Okay, all of the screws are in their holes. Tight. Well, this thing is a bit longer than I hoped for. I still got it. Okay, last one in. looks good. The only thing I have to f be aware of is not to scratch my knees when I get in here. So I'll probably put some kind of uh, tape over this so uh, they're smoother. Now let's put the top section on. So what I'm planning to do is just drive these screws right into the rubber boots or rubber cones I should say. Ok, 
Okay. And at this stage, I'm really not looking for looks. I'm looking for functionality. If I could find my screwdriver. So to have the cones, rubber cones, inserted, I put a little bit of oil on them. And uh, I tried first without oil, it didn't want to go in. So then I put oil and then I just pushed it with a flat uh, surface. I just, uh, you know, the multi tip screwdriver. I just took the tips off and uh, just used that to push them in. They went in far. Okay, and these screws are holding well. They go into that rubber like butter. Okay, it's tight. I was hoping it'd be a little tighter, but I guess the design doesn't permit. There were two more clips that I was going to um, add screws. So on the inside there, there used to be clips that held it together. Of course those broke off. Um, I was gonna put brace on the inside, but then I thought, you know, this is good enough. It's not wobbling. Okay, that's all I was looking for. I mean, we're talking about a car that is fairly old. And so far that I can see, everything is tight. So, there you can see the boots, the rubber cones and the little oil and the hull work. Um, so, you know, worse than all, I can put a piece of tape to keep it together or eventually, since it does come apart now, I could put something inside, but at this point I'm not worried about it. It works okay. So, here are the new looks. Maybe this helps somebody save a few bucks. Enjoy.